if you want to describe curves or surfaces in 2D or in 3D, you can use a so-called parametric equation. You have probably already seen a few of those at high school, probably even quite complicated ones. But what happens if you take a very easy parametric equation? Well, let us give it a try. First, we will start here with a slightly more complicated example, which you may have already seen at high school. You have a function r going from r to r2, so scalar goes in, factor goes out. r as a function of t equals cosine t sine t. And how do we interpret this function here if we see it as a parametric equation? Well, then we say this first component is x of t, second co component is y of t, and we see all these factors as points on a curve in 2D. But how does the curve look like? Well, let's see. What happens if we substitute a few values of t? So let's start with t equals 0. If t equals 0, we have x equals cosine of 0 equals 1, y equals sine of 0 equals 0, and we have the point 1, 0. If we continue and take t equals pi over 4, we get x equals the cosine of pi over 4 equals 1 half square root of 2, y equals the sine of pi over 4, so equals 1 half square root of 2, so we get at the point over here for t equals pi over 4. Try some other value of t, for example t equals pi over 2, we get cos pi over 2 equals 0, and sine pi over 2 equals 1, and then we get to the point here. And if we continue, we see for t equals pi, we're over here, for t equals 5 pi over 4, we're over here, and now you see, well, it looks like all those points on this parametric curve seem to lie on a circle. Well, how can we check that? Well, we know x equals cosine t and y equals sine t. So if we compute x squared plus y squared over here, we get cos squared t plus sine squared t equals 1 for all square values of t. So that means that all points x, y indeed lie on a circle. Well, as I already said, this parametric equation over here is in fact already quite complicated because there's a cosine and a sine. What happens if we take an easier parametric equation? For example, not cosines and sines, but just linear functions in t. Well, let's see what happens then if we take t and 1 plus t. That's our parametric equation. So x equals t, y equals 1 plus t. Well, substitute again a few values of t. t equals 0, we get it 0, 1 over there. t equals 1, we get it 1, 2 over here. And t equals minus 1, we get it minus 1, 0, which is over there. And you'll see already something happening. The blue dots are nicely on the line. So such a parametric equa equation, which is linear in t, in fact describes a line, in this case, in 2D. Well, we can rewrite this equation slightly. We take the part without t and the part with t. And then we take the t to the front over there. And then we see our par parametric equation is of the form a vector r0. So here we have our r0 plus t times a vector v. Here we have a vector v. And how, what do they mean? Well, r0 over here, 0, 1 in the picture, is in fact a vector from the origin to a point on the line. And v is a direction vector over here, is a vector in the direction of the line. So you can write any line as a parametric equation of the form r0 plus t times v, where r0 is from the origin to any point on the line, and v is in the direction of the line.